Hello, oh crap, hang on. Hello everybody and welcome to a Get Ready With Me. So uh, I think a while ago Rachel posted a vlog where she did like a sped up version of her doing her makeup. And, but I decided today that I was just going to kind of like talk through my makeup with you guys. So um, my skin is doing really really bad right now and I with some rose water. Mario Tabescu. I said that really fast and weirdly. I'm going to go rinse this beauty blender really quick. Okay, so the first step after really, rose water, that's kind of like my moisturizer in a sense. I don't really use moisturizer. Um, I use coconut oil every night, but other than that, I don't really use anything. Um, sometimes I'll put on the Urban Decay Chill Setting Spray before my makeup as like a primer, but nothing else. I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, and I'm just going to go ahead and spot conceal right before my foundation. Just because I don't have to use extra foundation to get more of the Queen Candace. I just want to start with more of the Queen Candace, so I'm going to start. I use a hair crystal. I'm going to go in with a brush and blend this out. Um, I'm first going to go in with the S3 brush by Morphe. So now I'm going to go in with my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow. This is in about one shade too dark for me. It's 205. I should be 204. But I'm just going to dot this on my face with my Revlon Color Stay in skin for norm. It's for skin that's normal to dry, so it does have a little bit of a dew to it. And then I'm just gonna blend this out with a buffing foundation brush. This is the Morphe S94. These, all these brushes that I'm using came in a set, so I'm not sure if they actually, like, come individually. If they do, great. If they don't, you can always just, like, find, like, the same type of brush. Morphe is really inexpensive, so it's a great alternative for, Sigma's not too expensive, but great alternative for, like, one MAC brush is, like, two or three blending brushes by Morphe. Maybelline and I use their Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. Super nice amount of coverage. Um, it's a loose powder so keep that in mind. If you guys don't like loose powders, don't buy this because it's a loose powder. But I just get some on a brush. I'm using this e.l.f. powder brush. It's literally one of my favorite powder brushes that I've ever used. And I think it's like $3. Then I'm going to go in with a blush brush. I'm going to go in with the Morphe S13. And I'm going to go in with the Wet n Wild Color Icon. What pigmented. You can look like a clown really, really quickly. I don't really wear eyeshadow. I really should because it will help my eyes pop more because I have poop eyes. But I just have never really... I love eyeshadow, but I'm, it's not my strongest suit in makeup. I'm probably going to make it in general, but, you know. So, the next thing is mascara, and that is, like, my favorite part. I love eyelashes. They're so pretty, and I love making mine look pretty. Um, this is the Maybelline Lash Sensational is the first mascara, and this isn't the waterproof one. So, one coat of the Lash Sensational, and then I go in with the Maybelline Colossal Volume Express, one of my all-time favorite. I've been using this bad boy for a while. I'm gonna let that dry for about like five seconds and then I'm gonna comb through them just with a little brush. This is the Morphe S25 and then I'm gonna go back in with the Lash Sensational and I just kind of go back and forth between the mascaras and kind of do what works best so this one's kind of more of a lengthening one i would say and the colossal is more of a volume i'm gonna make your lashes look thicker and fuller um but they're both great mascaras and that's why i like them combined because you get long you get length and you get volume so then for my setting spray i use the urban decay chill this is my sister's but i use it because So 
Setting spray is my favorite thing ever. I don't know. New me or crimp? Beachy? Beachy and relaxed or beachy but wavy? I use the Bedhead by TG. So just take a pretty big section like that. And then I just go all the way up the roots and I just clamp my hair in there and clasp it for about 10 seconds. And then I let go and I bring it down just a little bit. and texture and just kind of look overall a little bit better I'm gonna go with the not your mother's beach baby I I like that song but I forgot I was playing this is what it looks like is this in the frame hopefully it is this is what it looks like just super natural and wavy looking the front always tends to look a little bit like weird and kinky right there but we're gonna fix that with a little bit of styling but first I'm just gonna add a little bit of texture and volume towards the bottom of my hair with the Not Your Mother's Beach Babe texturizing sea salt spray it's one of my favorite products by Not Your Mother's and I literally just lift up my hair and intermix this product and then I just kind of scrunch and you guys can see the difference obviously thanks for watching today's video i really hope that you guys enjoyed it um be sure to subscribe if you do and like um and yes yeah.